There's nothing like getting out of the car and getting that first whiff of salty sea air. But while you're at the beach this summer, researchers are working hard to figure out the science behind that sweet smell. This research has huge implications for many areas. Turns out what gets churned up by the crashing waves can have a huge impact on our climate. Every breaking wave around the world generates aerosols, fine mists of droplets, each packed with a unique chemistry that scientists are trying to understand. Kimberly Prather and her team use a 3,400-gallon indoor wave machine filled with seawater to study the chemistry of sea spray aerosols. They seed the tank with phytoplankton, the food source of bacteria and other microscopic organisms in the ocean. The critters, the microorganisms, the bacteria, the viruses, the phytoplankton make very specific array of chemicals for us, and then we watch how that chemistry evolves over time and look at the chemistry and the effects on the atmosphere and climate. Prather's research, recently published in ACS Central Science, reveals startling facts about the tiny little droplets that make their way from the ocean to the atmosphere. Depending on the chemical composition of the particles in sea spray, those aerosols can either help cool or heat the planet. A particle with certain chem chemistry will absorb light and heat our planet. Other ones will totally reflect light and cool our planet. Some will seed clouds, some won't, and chemistry dictates all of that. Not only does the chemistry of sea spray aerosols affect the planet's temperature, it can also affect the weather. Certain aerosols can give you more rain or snow out of a cloud. Certain ones can completely turn off precipitation right where you need it. Until recently, scientists hadn't linked sea spray aerosols to the weather, but understanding them could lead to better forecasts. Our ability to predict what's going to happen, when it's going to rain, when it's going to snow, depends in large part on what actually seeded those clouds, and scientists really don't know. Most scientists studying global warming factored in sea spray aerosols, but assumed the impact was the same everywhere. In fact, Prather says just the opposite is true. The single largest uncertainty in climate change is how do aerosols affect clouds and climate. Future studies will also focus on the effects of biological compounds in sea spray on human health, meaning you'll be able to learn more about just what's in that whiff of salty sea air. ACS Headline Science is produced by the American Chemical Society. For more on the latest research in ACS publications, why not subscribe to ACS. Music